Hey, what is up, YouTube? We back at it again. It's your girl, Miss Tink. That's M I C C, not M I S S. You already know, Channel the Pulse TV. Y'all, we here to do the season finale of my favorite show. I hope there's a season two pose. Season one, episode eight, Mother of the Year. This show had me all up in my feelings, had me gagging. Let's just, I'm not even gonna waste your time. Let's get into it. Yeah. All right, so pose pretty much picks up where we see what has happened to Electra since uh, Mr. Ford to kick cut ass at the curb. She doing these peep shows. She didn't, y'all, she is sleeping in, in booths in the restaurant and chest. She is sleeping on the bench. Like, I don't know if Lulu and them kicked her ass out, but she could not afford. I was like, damn. It got so bad to the point where you could see like she is just all in her feelings, but who, lo and behold, at the end of the day, is the one that gives her, or should I say, comes to her rescue? My girl, Blanca. And I so felt and loved that moment of vulnerability and just, just to see throughout all the bullshit and everything that they've been through since episode one, how they just, just came together. And I ain't gonna lie. I do be feel I, I I felt where Electra be coming from, like your pride getting your way where you don't want to feel needy or ask for help. But then I feel where Blanca coming from too, man. Sometimes you have to, but it's just like it's hard to trust. So I was just like, it was just tugging on my heartstrings because I just I felt where both of them was coming from. I've been in both situations, both shoes was on both ends. So, you know, and shout out to those who was there for me to help love y'all you just don't know you know who you are but um you know so i just was like ooh, and then the way that she just came over there and just hugged her i was just like i love this just i just I, I loved it i just loved how they came together i really did i really did now back at the house we see damon and pretty ricky what they call them anyways um so we see that they're just chilling up in the house or whatever and apparently there's um an audition to be a backup dancer for albie shore and you know, Damon wants Pretty Ricky to do it, but Pretty Ricky like, no, you're going to do it with me so I won't feel uncomfortable. Apparently, Pretty Ricky, what they call him, got some skills of dancing other than just looking cute and flexing that body of his. I was like, oh, okay. And then, you know, they was about to get the canoodling and get what they do with they doings. And all of a sudden, Blanca come through and who is with her? Electra. I said, okay. You know, took her in. You know, at first, Damon, he didn't want to give up the room, but you know, house mother, Blanca rules. Now, Electra girl, why is your ass coming in there making orders? This is not your house. This is Blanca's house. Like, the way she coming in talking about, I need this painting and this and that. Girl, this is not the penthouse. This is not Mr. Ford. Girl. Reality check. You know what I'm saying? Because Damon was already pretending like, to be like, you welcome. I'm like, I don't even like him. You know, you've been true. I've been hearing the reads. Gave him one of them type of smiles. You know what I'm saying? But... He was still respectful, like, you know, his mama said. And, um, but they pretty much looked at her like, bitch, no, you, you, you getting this and be happy with what you got. Electra quickly got that message. Girl, sit down somewhere. You look good, though, but sit down somewhere here. Anyway, so after that, we see, uh, Pray Tell and Blanca, they're talking, you know, and making outfits and stuff for getting ready for the princess ball. And then that's when they bring up the house of veracity. Apparently, they didn't got them some, um, miss florida and then of course miss aphrodite they didn't got them some heavy hitters okay including poppy so they you know they're gonna have to be taken down because they are forced to be reckoned with and you know pray tell can see that and so can blanca you know what i'm saying and then that's when um blanca basically tells uh, pray tell you need to get out there you need a date like look i met someone and at first Pray tell was like, no, boo, no, I ain't trying to go there. No, I'm a reformed hoe. I ain't got time, no. But then Pray tell thought about it, and of course, what Cos you know, what Costco said, I fine, I do it, I do it, I do it. And judging from the flashback of how um um Blanca met Kanan, Kanan, <laughs> Keenan was all up in to Pray tell, like just like I was like, okay, like, yeah, wasn't even making drinks or nothing. You missed out on the tip. But anyways, you know, like Pray Tell said, daddies are in. Okay. Yes, yeah, Pray Tell. Anyway, so Blanca and Helena are talking. Apparently, um, Blanca, uh, Helena wants to break the news to Blanca that Damon has got his second scholarship 
uh, for his second year has been approved he's good and that he's also shaping up a lot and you know Blanca was so happy for him and I'm happy for him as well and I love the relationship between Helena and Blanca and how Helena was like just you you've been so good to him as a mother as a guardian no matter you just been good to him like thank you and I was like right on give Blanca a props I love me some Blanca anyway so Next, we see Electra walking down. Look, she looked good in the trench coat. You know what I'm saying? Mysterious, sexy, always. She ain't got no makeup on. Apparently, you know, Blanca got her ass up early. You know, her and Electra, they're going to go look for a job. And Electra, like, girl, no. I don't, these hands are not made for this. Girl, no. And Blanca was like, girl, shut up. You are in my house. You need a job. And it's better working at the damn peep show. All they need is a lead hostess. Bitch, all you gonna be doing is sitting people, looking pretty, looking cute, and judging motherfuckers. Something that you do best in your sleep, bitch. And, you know, we see Blanca basically admitting like, girl, I don't know, no, I don't, I don't, what if they ask me to calculate stuff, bitch, I don't know, I don't know, bitch, I don't know. But, you know, so, that's when, you know, Blanca basically got in the electric head, like, bitch, you got to do this, this is my house, my rules, you ain't going back to that peep show, no ma'am, do what you gotta do. And she went over there and talked to, you know, even with the people that was walking out, the white folks staring, whatever. She went over there and talked to the Asian lady. And the Asian lady was like, okay, yes, of course. Yes, I'm really looking for a refined, regal woman, you know. Well, come get an application. And I was like, all right, Electra, go ahead. And Electra turned around. I was like, go ahead. I, that would have been me and my girl. That would have been me and my homegirls. You already know. Anyways, um, after that, um... I was happy for Electra, you know, she got that application now. She, you know, she making an honest living, you know. We see Pretty Ricky, what they call him, and Damon getting ready for the um auditions. And they did that. They did that shit. You know, Pretty Ricky, what they call him, showing off them bodies, and Damon hidden. And they both got picked. Like, they really did that for the I'll Be Sure um, audition. Like, I, yes, I'm glad they both got picked, you know what I'm saying? And then we see Pray Tell um, going on, you know, uh, his date with uh keenan and you know when they go into the restaurant i didn't even realize the ret restaurant they was in but then all of a sudden we see electra miss lead hostess okay looking just as beautiful as she wanna look was like you must have a reservation and pray tell was like all right we see you looking good i see you are too i was like yes baby yes i was so happy yes i was going i was like go ahead go ahead i knew she got the job but it was nice to just you know see her in her you know but um as they're talking whatever we see keenan and uh pray tell getting to know each other we figure out that keenan is also a sculptor and you know barton helps pay the bills you know and then that's when he basically was about to get close to pray tell and pray tell just let it be known like look i am i'm hiv positive my lover just died and i didn't even really want to go on this date but you know bronca told him to and i just you know and i was just like you better I, he was just bearing his soul and he, he even said if you want to go I understand and it was just so nice to see that Keenan understood it was like it's okay it's okay and I just love when he said what can I do to help I was like oh you could just see all up in pray tell face it was just so sweet was like you think you're the first guy ever day that was HIV positive no we just we'll be safe but just no boo I play hard for did. I ain't that easy. And I was like, you know, I was like, go ahead. Go ahead. But it was just so nice to see Pray Tell. Because, the like, just to see him happy and just with someone that just, you know, understands. Because he, let, he lets, you know, Keenan know, like, you are the second person I told other than Blanca. So, you know, the first person I told other than Blanca. So, I was like, oh, And then they kissed. And I was just so passionate. I was just like, go ahead. And I just loved how they just was just so into each other in the booth. I was like, oh. Now, while they kissing, you hear Electra ass just reading the hell out of the poor people. I was like, Lord. Mm, mm, mm. Reading the hell. So like, I think it was in, in CDO. And C I don't want to. Sorry, I'm going to get it wrong. But she basically said, no, bitch, if you don't have reservations, you don't eat. This is reservations only. I was like, oh, shit. I see why they hired her. She got them all the way up together. And them white folks looking at her like, all right, bitch. Mm, mm, mm. Like, go ahead. So, um, after that, we're back at the house and we see Angel and Electra, uh, not Electra, uh, Angel and, um, 
Blanca, Blanca's cooking, Angel coming in, got a little funky attitude, and Blanca already senses it like mother, like daughter, like my mama do, both of my mamas. Um, and that's when um she asked her, like, what's up? What's up? You know, what's what's been, you know, you got your heart broken, talk about it. And Angel just let it out. And I was like, yes, girl. I ain't gonna lie, I got emotion. I was like, this is what me and my, my me and Cheryl. I, this man plenty of emotion. I was just like, just let it out. And my mama was right there crazy me like a big old baby. Yes. Still do it too. Still do it too. I'm just saying. I'm saying I'm 30, but that's still my mama. But I was like, go ahead. Like, she just let it all out. And then that's when we find out that even Angel cried on the job. You know, she just, she just, you know, she she really loved him. You know, And but I love how Blanca was like, you don't need him. Maybe you don't even need to be on that pier no more. You need to just, you know get a real job and, and be something i need you to be here and that's when blanca just basically let the cow back and let angel know that she is hiv positive and you could just see just like oh how it just broke angel but angel kept it together and let it be known like mama i got you i got you mama i ain't gonna tell nobody it's between me and you but i got you i was just like oh it's okay it's all right it's all right it's all right so they go eat, it's dinner time. Before they eat, and we see Damon and uh Frederick and over there basically setting the table up. And here we go with Miss Electra throwing shade, talking about I'm not the only one they dress up for dinner. Well, obviously, girl. Obviously, girl. And then talking about the silverware. Girl, look, it look, look. Fletcher would have got on my nerves, but then I have to be understanding, like, you know, that's mama friend. So anyway, so. Um, as they're getting ready for dinner and everything, um, that's when Blanca lets it be known that she has some special news, but Damon and Pretty Ricky share their news first. They both got picked. They're going on tour for the I'll Be Sure, but it's a tri-state area, and they're just so happy through the moon. Like, even Electra was like, oh my god, I'll be sure, I'll be sure, girl. Me and Digden had said, I was like, okay, I think that was just a little bit too much, you know, cheering, cheering. But, you know, it is what it is. She done ran and got the damn, you know, then ran and got the damn tape was just ready. to. But I was like, okay. So we didn't really hear Blanca news at the time. But then when dinner was over and it was just Blanca and Damon, you know, doing the dishes, that's when Blanca let it be known that, look, your scholarship has been approved for your second year. But Blanca let it be known, like, I feel that you should stick with school so that way you can shine just as bright so that no, they cannot deny you. Because, you know, just this job might not lead to another job. But I also support you in whatever you want to do. And I and I just love that about Blanca. It's like, it might not be the decision I want, but if it's what's best for you and you thought about it, I'm still going to support you. And I'm like, go ahead. Because even Damon was happy. He thought about it. He was like, and what she said was very, very true. Especially what Miss Helena said about his talent. He can go really far. Way further than what they're offering with I'll be sure. So I, I felt where Blanca was coming from and I'm glad for the advice. And I just love their relationship. You know, I just love it. I just love it. I just I just love it. Anyways, um after that, um, we see Patty over there scrubbing the uh, wall. Girl, that it's like it wasn't gonna come out. I'm just saying, Miss Amanda. And that's when Stan pop up and Stan wanna come on in and basically ask, can he move back in or whatnot and wanna pretend like everything's okay. Now, Patty, I was so with Patty on this one. She let that shit be known. No, 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 no. We ain't finna pretend shit. We gonna let it be known, but I will spare the details for your sake and for the sake of the kids, because he did say for the sake of, sake of the kids, could he move back into the guest room? And she was like, you know, for the sake of the kids, we will do that. You know, because she's a mom first before she's a wife. So I understand all that, but she let it be known. Uh, there will be no more executive up in Manhattan executive time. No, you're going to quit that job. Get a job around here. Sell all this expensive shit. You're going to be home more for the sake of the kids. I said, all right. And she let me know, I'm going to go get my master's at Mount St. Clair. Wherever that's at. Mm -hmm. And by the time the kids get old enough to understand what the fuck is going on, I need to be on my independent shit making my money to take care of these kids, point blank period. And I felt where she was coming from. I really did. I was like, you better go ahead, Patty. Tell his ass the truth. 
Mandy would have got her ass slapped for acting out and writing on the damn wall. Because I know I sure did when I thought I was cute and did that with my mama. <laughs> but anyways, um, and Stan had no chance, no choice but to understand where she was coming from. And he was like, I'm Stan, I love you. She like, mm-hmm. Patty's still mad, but she doing it for the sake of the kids. So I understand. I mean, I, girl, long as... Do what you got to do, girl, but put that foot down. And she showed, seemed like she did, especially when it came to that damn job. You need to be back home more before the kids get back from school. Figure it out. I was like, okay. Sell it, bitch, because I'm going to be all right with these kids. Anyways, so we get to my favorite scene of the night of the episode, which is the princess ball. And baby! The first category was linen versus silk. And they did that shit with the guys. Yes, they did. And I like the twins. All right, baby, with the froze. You better go ahead. They did it. Now, although the kids was worried, the House of Evangelista was worried about the House of Veracity, Blanca, baby girl, this is why I love you, girl, because Candy, the fact that you, ooh, when the House of Veracity stepped through, they look good. I ain't gonna lie, Lulu, Candy, they, they, yes, they came ready. But I was so mad at Candy the way she went in on Blanca. And, oh, Angel, especially all the shit you know with them fake ass injections and where she went to get her shit done. Girl, you could, not coming for my mama like that. No, you ain't. But that's all right, because Blanca didn't, Blanca didn't let them bitches see her cry. She went to the back. They might have got to her, but she ain't let them see her sweat no tears. Then that's when we see Miss Electra herself stepping, and baby, she look good. That gold outfit with the wings, go fucking head, Miss Electra. You look good walking down the street, girl. You look good. Well, you always look good. But the silhouette, yes, I said, you better come through. She came up in there and let it be known to Electra, like, look, you humbled me. You took me in when I had nowhere else to go. You showed me what a real mother is like. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't even have this job that I have. And I got my first real paycheck. I'm going to offer my services to you. And we're going to take House of Ferocity down. You showed me what a real mother is like. And I said, you better go ahead and give her her props. Because yes, yes, Electra, Blanca stepped in when no one else did. So you better go on ahead. Go ahead. She was fixing her makeup and getting her ready. Don't you know? No, don't don't you let them bitches see. We're gonna, we're gonna take them bitches down. Okay? We're gonna take them down. So you get the makeup. We got you. Mama got you. You know, we get you. But I'm about to go check these hoes. But just know, because I got some bitches to check. Okay? You have my heart, Blanc. I said, oh, yes. 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 Go ahead, Electra. She was on her way to go check a bitch. Now, Lulu, you took this shit a little bit too far. And I'm so glad Poppy saw the damn light because the fact that you acted a damn fool and embarrassed him like that because of the wrong drink, like that was so overboard. They at the bar and not even Electra threw the damn drink at y'all. Anything. She said, Where's my drink? But she didn't throw no drink. The fact that you're going to throw a drink and talk about what the fuck is wrong with you and embarrass him like that, no, ma'am. And then wet up his outfit like he got to walk. He can't just run back. See, uh-uh. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. So after she made that damn scene, that's when Electra came in and read every last one of them motherfuckers for filth. So fucking bad that even Candy had to look away. You know, Miss Candy had to look the hell away. I said, ooh. Now, I don't remember all the reads and everything that she went through, but... She read them bitches down to the point Candy was like, oh, I ain't not even, especially when she went in about her body and shit and how, girl, I said, and let it be known to, uh, to, uh, uh, Aphrodite, my beef is not with you, boo. Now you can stay here a week. She said, I ain't gonna want to go. Okay, just know that my beef is not with you, boo. But these bitches I'm finna get. She, oh, uh, the fact that she said, bitch, you, you think about me. You want to be, I said, oh, and, and in a sense, she telling the truth. Because they trying to get back at who? Their mother, which is Electra. I said, ooh. And then and let Poppy know, like, look, you done paid enough. Come on back. And then got the other two. I forgot the, their other names. But the other two guys that Vogue, like a motherfucker, love it. 
took them to this like you know fuck you bitches i'm gone and you might have called them a traitor but they they just as much as traitor as you are when you left the house of evangelista not evangelista of uh abundance when um electra was down girl so stop it candy so they went on back you know she took them and they got red for filth in front of everybody and everybody was like and Lulu and including everybody was on hush mouth. Although I'm pretty sure Aphrodite didn't take that to 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 you know to feel because she like bitch. She wasn't talking about me. She said she ain't got no beef for me. I understand. But anyways, so after that, um, they went to the back or whatever, and they hug it out the the first two guys, and then that's when we see Poppy. He just break down and cry. He's like, mama, you know, like a mama, mom, and Electra, um. Blanca felt that too. She felt that too. She's like, come here, baby. Just come. I was like, yes, come home. That's where you belong. Okay. That's how I felt. So basically, this is when Blanca felt like it's time. She basically finna challenge the house of ferocity. And baby, when I tell you, they they did that shit. House of Ferocity and what? House of Evangelista did that shit. They, oh my God, the how, oh, oh, I got my whole entire life from the voguing to 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 the the um to Lulu walking against uh elect. Um, sorry, not Electra. Uh, um, Blanca. Oh, and, oh. Oh, and then the way, oh my God, I I lost it when Angel got on the damn table and fell out. Oh, bitch. And then that's when um, Poppy picked her up and then Poppy and Pretty Ricky, what they call them, they walk, like I was like, when he did the push-ups, I said, y'all better work. Now, the Finn Vogue, y'all was all right, but y'all ain't, man, I was like, okay, Damon, you done came a long way from episode one or two. No, it was one. Uh, like I've got my whole entire life. I loved it. I loved it. Candy looked good too. Lulu looked like everybody looked great. Like I said, bitch, that was a damn battle. That was bad. I want to say probably the one. I don't know where. I, I think when it came to the voguing, probably the voguing where the nine came from for the house of uh, ferocity, but. We all know House of Evangelista got tens across the board as they should because they brought in, especially when they did the pose, 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 double time, pose, 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 pose. Yeah, I was like, bitch, yes. I was getting my whole life. I was getting my whole life. I said, y'all better work. Uh, yes, y'all, y'all better work. And they won. And so after that episode, because I got my life and I calmed down, we find out that they got eight trophies. You know what I'm saying? They're winning. They, they snatching them categories. And then that's when we find out that Pretty Ricky, what they call him, and Damon decided that Pretty Ricky is going to do the tour and Damon's going to stay in school and do his scholarship, which I feel is right because Pretty Ricky, what they call him, he loved dancing, but I feel that he's more with that life versus Damon. It's something different with Damon. Like, yeah work on your craft work on your career so and I, if y'all relationship really works both of y'all can take dancing in two different ways so both can bounce back off each other so kudos to that i was like i was happy for damon and you know he wanted to make blanca proud blanca, blanca like baby you already made me proud I was like yes 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 so then after that we got some more categories going on this part took me out too so electra won a uh, diva of the year and then that's when um we have the um what we have oh yeah the house of veracity they mad they mad like can't talk about we gotta get a, a trophy like can't sit your ass down here sit down here anyways so after that we got femme queen vogue and they was getting it them girls was getting it with the vogue and now i don't understand what the hell was up with candy why she went out there what was she doing I'm so, I, I was so glad, pray tell, read her ass for Phil. Tell my dude, she got dyslexia, letting her know, like, you might have bought that body, but you can't buy rhythm. You can't buy rhythm and movement or whatever. You, you can't buy it, okay? I was like, read her ass because she deserved it. And, of course, she going to come with them backlash like, F you and all of that stuff. I was like, Miss Kenzie, sit down. Sit down. But then... The judges even got like, bitch, can you sit down? Like, can you sit? Girls, they even read her ass. And then when she said, 
when she said call the one the one of the judges the fat a fat fuck, that damn judge was like <laughs> hold my purse, bitch. I'm, 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 the way he came down there, that candy ass took them shoes and ran, and that bitch done stuck a hammer in her damn purse. That bitch came ready, and that other judge was ready with that corner, like, bitch. I Bitch, I got bitch. I was like, that shit was funny. I'm sorry, that shit was funny to me. I was like, Lord, it got so bad to the point that fucking Candy gonna throw the hammer. Talking about bitch, fuck this. Shit. I was like, look, and he go, Lulu, pick that up, pick you, pick, pick it up. Oh, so I'm, yes, pick it. Up. I said, hey, not not in this white. Hell no, I'm not in this white. This bra would not touch this white. I'm sorry. Kick me out the house, but I'm not messing up my good white to bend down nowhere to get her damn hammer. She, the bitch brought it in. The bitch gonna have to bring it out. Okay, she was body body to pull it out. She need to be body body to put it back in. That would have been me. I'm just saying. I ain't messing up my good white. But anyways, so after that, um, we see um angel is basically outside smoking a cigarette and then this is where we see stan stan is basically begging her to come back angel i'm so glad she didn't fall for the shit she like no do you no like he promised her like i'm gonna leave my wife and i'm like didn't you just say you gonna come back and this no you just I'm, I'm so glad angel did not take stan back i'm so glad and even block was like bitch come on angel come on say hold on bitch he cute i see why you tripping okay bitch he cute they go back in, and then that's when we have the whole Mother of the Year category. We have the House of Mugler, Miss Gina Mugler. We got the House of Pendarvis, Miss Kiki Pendarvis. We got the House of Extravaganza, Miss... I think it's... Ooh, sorry. The House Mother of Extravaganza, I think it's... I don't want to get it wrong. Um, Miss Tanya, hope, forgive me. Sorry if I got it wrong. And then, of course, we got the House of Evangelista, Miss Blanca. She looked beautiful in her gold. She looked really beautiful. And she came out there. Pray Tell gave this speech. Even he got emotional. I was like, you better go ahead and tell the truth, Pray Tell. Go ahead. Go ahead. And by that speech, I already knew who was going to win. And my girl, Blanca won. I say, yes, Lord. Blanca won. Mother of the Year, she deserved it. She is definitely, I'm so glad she won. And I was so glad that, you know, Miss Electra was the one to present it to her. And then it ends where they all going out to eat at the ch same Chinese place that they had Christmas at. And we see everybody there. The kids that are, and you know, the new kids in the house. And then we see, of course, um, Pray Tell Man there, Keenan, and of course, Electra there. And that's how it went off. And I was so mad. I love this season. I hope there's a season two. I loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it, y'all. So thank y'all for riding out with me for a post. I can't wait for a season two. Shout out to all the new subscribers that came with this show. I just loved it. Talking about my LGBTQ community. But anyways, y'all, I'm Miss Tink. That's M-I-C-C, not M-I-S-S. You already know Chess. That's Post TV. I will be back at it again another time next time. For Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. Deuces, y'all. Bye.